Are they okay? Are they okay? Are you okay? Russell? This was my first car crash. And you know what? I want to tell you something and I want you to really listen. We should have been in that crash. Okay. Crap, I dropped the phone. Chad, no. no. I'm serious, where did it go? I dropped the phone. Chad, are you serious? I can't see you. I can't see anything. Ah! Ah, my leg. Chad, are you okay? Oh, oh my God. I can't see you. Where are you? Oh, you're gonna be okay. I know. Someone will come. Don't worry. Help! We're over here. Watch out on the left side. We hear someone. What? He's hurt. He has something yeah. stuck on his leg. Yeah. All right, medic. Okay, medic. Where are the two kids located, Igor? Which drip? Ah! Oh. All right. You guys gonna take him out? Sounds good. We'll see you out on top side. Guys, we have to ventilate going into Rebecca? All right. Is everybody good? Time to get What did you have for breakfast? Lucky charms. Lucky charms? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, watch your heads over here. So, yes, this was staged, but this was done purposely. I, I look like the creepy teenager. So the question is, who wore it best? Sherry. Who, who's got the best dress? Sherry, let's see yours. <laughs> wow! Julie, I'm not even gonna let you leave like my bedroom in this. This is horrible. She's 11 years old, but she looks like she's 21. <laughs> How did you get makeup on? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all of my girls wear size 14. They're all different shapes though, and, and they're all at different levels of maturity, yet they all wear size 14. If you are a size 14, here are your options. Unicorn with the flippy little sequins. We went shopping for Sherry and this is what we found. You can also find very mature, I even made her put on a sports bra. I'm like, you gotta put something on underneath this. Um, this is what we found. Don't know where Julie's gonna go where this would be appropriate. <laughs> and um, Abby found something that shows her belly here, which I am not okay with. I like this. Why do you keep looking at my chest? Because I am your mother and I just need to make sure everything you wear is appropriate. You're just a girl. Keep your eyes on my eyes and don't know her. I'm just making sure you're covered. That's all. You look great. Sherry's having an argument. <laughs> she's a, she's saying that lotion is not a liquid. No, she, she's calling it's it an amorphous solid. I can't believe my eighth grader is arguing that it's an amorphous solid. Scientifically, it's a solid. Oh, Sherry, just give it up. Just, just give it up. <laughs> just throw it away. That's what I said, just throw it away. They don't want to pat Sherry down because she's not an adult, so they're, I'm gonna take, take her plate. This is what she is. Because I love my daughter. <laughs> yes. All right, our top. Dinner out to the <gasps> fridge. No, not that. <sighs> oh, 
bad. But don't come down here, it's all broken. I bought the thank you, honey. Are you sad for me? This is my favorite casserole dish in the world. Oh, oh if I get your name, I'll, 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 get, you. I'll get you one even if it's a 2001. I'll get it. And if, Are you really crying? And, Russell? And, oh, honey. And if I get, oh, honey. And if I get your name, then I'll This was my favorite casserole dish, and it had a lot of meaning to me. Look at Russell. And it was a... I was trying to do it one-handed, and I went to open the fridge, and it was more than I could handle. And you know what? I'm so grateful that it's just a casserole dish, and that it's not my kids. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad that... Hi, cutie. Um, you did get new shoes. Did yeah. Abby even buy them? No. Abby's like, do you want to just keep my vans? Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> sure. Oh, so well, for sure. To, like, on my birthday, on my no, birthday, she can have them. On my, on my birthday, she can just steal my shoes and go. <laughs> Happy birthday, <laughs> Ruby. Well, those yeah. are the exact shoes that she was like wanting. <laughs> I think you just get like two more things just in case. So just keep our fridge full. Okay, well I'm gonna get some protein shakes because we're almost out. Okay, the medicine aisle is completely empty. The medicine aisle? I wanna go look at it. Wow. <laughs> Someone really wanted Uncrustables. No one likes grape though. I think this is a good opportunity for stores to see what is not selling. I think that's the upside. Wow. It is a it's a serious one. The question is, do we all get COVID? Get Literally COVID. We're gonna stay home anyway. So do we all get COVID? Do we all share a communal cup? Because I rarely get sick. I think it's just a cold. <laughs> She was right. It's like breathing water up your nose <laughs> for 30 minutes. Come out. She found dead skin. She found dead skin. Come out. Dead skin. Get out from underneath my bed. Right now. Dead skin everywhere. I write that song. You wrote that song, <laughs> Dead Skin? You're going to have to write, I'm dead now because you're in so much trouble. <laughs> Look at me. You're going straight to bed and you don't get dessert today. We're all going to go out and get a cookie. And play a family game. Eve, you cannot be in my room and do that. The cotton balls should be in there. I don't have any. Will you go in your bathroom and get some? Russell, go take these and throw them in the garbage can. We had family dinner and I was looking and looking and looking for Eve and I was like, why isn't Eve at the dinner table yet? She usually comes to dinner as soon as I call her. And then I go looking outside. We've been looking for 30 straight minutes for her and I was starting to get worried and I was like, okay, we're gonna start calling around in the neighborhood and if I can't find Eve in the next 20 minutes, I'm calling the police. And then I found this. You only got a little gist of it on camera. All of the discipline takes place off camera. But one of the consequences is she will not be getting her nails painted for a solid month. And that's like her favorite thing is to have me do her nails. And she's gonna have to go without for a month until she learns that she's not old enough to do this yet by herself. All right, verdict is in. We saved the floor, it came off the tile okay. But I think my rug is totaled. But aren't you glad it happened that way and not the other way around? Well, it came off the tile okay. Well, I know, but aren't you glad? I'm glad it came off the tile and... and so you have to look at the bright side. <sighs> Thank you, Sherry. The tile is good and it would have been a lot more expensive than to replace at most a $100 rug. It's not $100, yeah. Not that expensive. Okay. Um, Eve, 
Okay, you can tell her to come here. <sighs> come sorry. here. Come here. Sorry, Mom. Sorry for what? I'm sorry for um making a mess and I am more upset that you came in my room when you knew you weren't supposed to. And you got into my things that you knew were not yours. That makes me more upset than making a mess. Because messes happen, but you were sneaking. And then you hid instead of telling me the truth. I was just really sorry, and I didn't mean to do it. And then I said I shouldn't have done this idea. You knew that it was a bad idea? Yeah. You're still going to have the consequence of not having your nails done for a month. Do you understand that? Yes. yes. Okay. And I still, I still want to buy you one of the nutter rugs. You still want to buy me a new rug? Maybe you can do some extra chores to help the, with the money. Um, Mom. It's a deal. Give me a hug. Um, Mom. <laughs> can I help you two to get paid? Because I want a lot of money. You. <laughs> Okay, I need some time alone. I need some space. They can wait for seven months and then you give it back like a couple weeks ago. I don't think our viewers know that. You've been sleeping on a beanbag. I've been sleeping on a beanbag since October. <laughs> and they gave my room back like two weeks ago. Oh, I'll give you the reason why I lost my bedroom. I think so. I think this is the reason. At least this is the reason that's been in my head. It's pretty funny, but now that I look back, I mean, it's pretty depressing. No, we never told our viewers. That I woke Russell up at 2 in the morning and told him that we're going to Disneyland and he has to pack. <laughs> and he got up and made his bed all neatly and then packed all his clothes in a suitcase. And then he walked out the door and I'm like, Russell, and he's like, what? And he's all happy. Has his sunglasses on. And I was like, we're not going to Disneyland. And he started crying and hitting me. And then he went back to bed in tears and then... So um, that, that was... That was Kind of and it's been over a year mm -hmm. and um, I still have no intention of returning a phone. Abby, we took the phone away from Abby um, November. in November oh, and, and you, may, you may never get the phone back. Probably. No, I have no friends. You can play with friends. No, like I don't have friends. I don't have friends either. I literally like told my friends I'm not hanging out with them anymore because, because they're they say some pretty people. messed up stuff. I don't, even, I don't even know where they live. <laughs> They're pretty far away. So, yeah, sharing with everyone the fact that you don't have a group of friends, that's really hard. I'm sorry mm -hmm. that you're in that situation. And I'm proud of you for cutting off with friends who make inappropriate jokes and who are inappropriate. Mm -hmm.